All right, so for a lot of people that uh, get into small trailerable sailboats, uh, the primary concern is they don't want to have to get a truck, right? So they want to get a boat that they can pool with the vehicle that they have. Um, but even if you get you know, a pretty light boat, it's not just the boat, it's also all the equipment you have to take with you. And so that was something that as a new boat owner, I just really didn't have a good idea of how much stuff I'd have to take with me. Luckily, I have a truck. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to give folks an idea of what I take with me when I go uh, sailing. Um, so I've got uh, an extendable ladder, which I use to board the boat. You can use the boarding ladder on the back, but uh, I use a ladder, I just find it more comfortable. Uh, and then I also use it as my mast crutch when I'm raising the mast. Uh, I put it behind the stern of the boat and uh, rest the mast on there. Uh, of course, wheel chocks uh, that you need for your trailer. Um, I take jack stands with me in case I ever have to detach the trailer from the tow vehicle. Uh, I put the jacks behind the stern of the trailer. Uh, grease gun uh, for the hubs of the trailer. Of course, the uh, the rudder which you can stow inside the boat, um, but it's just a lot easier since you mount it on the on the outside uh, to just grab it and mount it. Uh, same thing with the motor. So I carry the motor in the back of my truck. It's a Torquedo 1103C. Uh, uh, electric outboard uh, with battery parts box uh, just extra stuff extra lines extra bungees uh, rigging tape shackles pins all those kinds of things a uh, set of gloves and then uh, of course a tool kit which uh, you know I use tools to uh, tighten the forestay uh, tighten the uh, the tiller handle um, mount my flagpole and um, I think what else uh, oh and tighten the wind vane um, so comes in handy, of course things also break, so good thing to have.